Jeff Lewis here for SunsetSpeedway.ca here in the pit area of the uh, of Billy Z3 Zardo, the driver of the number 46 machine in this, uh, this incredibly talented, super stacked limited late model division. And uh, a week ago, you got spun out of not one, but two top five finishes. But you came back tonight and, and, and got the top five that got away last week. How big was that for this team? Uh, it felt good to rebound and come back and uh, do what we know the car and, and myself can do. Uh, the crew works countless amount of hours on this car throughout the week, throughout the weekend. Uh, if it wasn't for those two guys, I wouldn't have been able to actually get out for the second race. Uh, we got in a little fender bender there in uh, the first race, uh, still pulled off a good seventh place though. Uh, managed to go out and uh, bring the car home in one piece this time. The last week, uh, you had guys get into you. you. You had them apologize afterwards, and you accepted their apologies, and sort of, and you, you you said, "What's the point in being mad? I don't. I want to move past this." I mean, I, I think 90% of the guys in this pit area, maybe even more, would, would not have handled it as well as you did. Uh, to what do you credit just being able to, to have those broad shoulders and and sort of look at things as, as maturely as you do? Um, believe it or not, I actually try to add a lot to my uh, my dad and my grandfather. Uh, my grandfather seems like a hothead, and he is a spring of the moment kind of guy, but um, we love to race, and we're here for one reason, and that's, that's like to win, but it's more to have fun. And as far back as I can remember, I, I've been going to the, the races with my grandfather when I was like two years old, three years old, and uh, I had fun, and I know he had fun, so I'm just having some fun, and uh, once a week goes by and it's not so well for us, um, we just get bounced back in our step. And, uh, it's a new week, so we, we don't want to carry the bad luck over from week to week because then you're just going to go have bad luck again. What, what was the atmosphere like in this pit area this afternoon when you guys got here? Uh, it was pretty crazy. I mean, there's a lot of cars here. Um, the, the wet track kind of made things a little interesting as well for, for qualifying. We qualified horrible. We're really weird for qualifying. Uh, last week you're, you're either in the top five or you're at the back of the field. There's not really any in between. Yeah, last week we qualified four. This week we qualified 16. It's such a jump. Uh, but thankfully we showed the car uh, can race rather than qualify really. And um, yeah, I got to thank all the crew and, and the sponsors and everything for everything. Well, go ahead and thank the sponsors that, that they get this car to the racetrack. Go ahead and name them. Yeah, of course. Uh, I got to thank uh, Mike Holmes from Holmes on Holmes, uh, Big Shoe Marina, National Exhaust, County Interiors. Um, I also got to thank Hassel Automotive. Uh, and another big one is uh, my uncle uh, Scott, um, Shelby Reed. Congratulations, buddy. We'll check in with you uh, next Saturday to see if we can keep the top five train rolling. Thanks, Billy Z3 Zardock, our fifth place finish here at Sunset Speed.